Yo! What's good, YouTube? In today's video, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, I'm going through my top five loadouts that you should be using in the current meta for Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. Of course, after the update, we didn't get a ton of different nerfs and buffs, so the meta kind of stayed relatively the same, but I'm still getting a million different comments about my favorite guns, my favorite loadouts, all that. So, of course, I thought I'd go through, update you guys, and tell you guys exactly what you should be running right now. But first, before I hop into anything, I want to give a huge shout-out to Twizzy, Oki, and Monster for having my post notifications on. If you guys want a chance of getting in my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button as well as leaving a like and a comment saying notice watch the full video through but like i said i got you guys with the best loadouts in the current meta so after the do let's hop directly into loading number one loading number one as you can tell on the screen we have the rpk with the akimbo p890 pistols but i'm also going to go through all my tacticals lethals perks i run stuns and simtexes on every single loadout i pick up and then of course for my perk package if i'm running overkill i have weapon specialist but if i have my pistols and i want fast hands and double time i have the warden package of course that swaps up with the first loady second loady and i kind of grab them separately throughout the games but like i said weapon specials for overkill loadouts and warden for when i want my fast hands double time all that stuff so hopping directly into the build for the rpk attachment number one is the zlr talon 5 muzzle giving you literally everything you need for the build with your sound suppression bolt velocity damage range and recoil smoothness overall getting you closer to hit scan and making you hit harder and then of course like i just showcased my rpk yesterday for the underbarrel you have the f tac ripper 56 giving you even more aiming idle stability hip fire accuracy and recoil stabilization one of the huge reasons why this RPK build literally does not move at all. And then a very essential attachment on the build, we have the 762 high velocity ammunition, giving you bolt velocity and kind of chalking your damage range. But of course, the way we have that fully tuned, that doesn't matter at all. And then again, another very self-explanatory attachment, you have the 40 round mag speeding you up in every possible way, which for me is super helpful because with my RPK, I like to be super aggressive. Of course, this is all preference though. If you don't want to run a mag at all, you do get a 100 mag by default. And then for the last attachment on the build, we have the AMOP V4 Optic. Just a very clean little scope. Like I always tell you guys though, the optics are 100% personal preference, but I will say again, this scope out of all the scopes I've used has the absolute least visual recoil. And then hopping directly into the tuning for the muzzle, I fully maxed out my ADS speed and I also fully maxed out my bolt velocity. On the FTAC Ripper 56, we left the bottom bar completely even at 0, zero and we also maxed out recoil stabilization. On the high velocity ammunition, like I told you guys, the tuning kind of fixes the pros and cons. We went fully maxed out damage range and I also fully maxed out my bolt velocity again and then for the aimop v4 optic we fully zoomed it into close and i also fully maxed out my ads speed but overall that is my full build on the rpk lmg i'm telling you guys by far my favorite primary in the entire game right now so if you guys haven't already you guys need to level up the rpk and use this build tell me the highest kill game you guys get with it like i said that's my loadout number one so let me show you the pistols that go with this all right the first attachment on the akimbo p890 pistols is the ft steel fire muzzle again giving you everything you need for the build to make you more helpful and useful you got the sound suppression bolt velocity damage range and recoil smoothness literally doing the exact same thing as the muzzle we have on the rpk getting you closer to hit scan and making you hit harder and then of course for these little pistols the fire rate is very important because the faster you shoot really the faster you're shredding through people so i'm tossing on the bruin express trigger action just increasing the fire rate and then of course with a faster fire rate you're also running out of ammo even quicker so i toss in the 12 round mag so you aren't reloading every two seconds and then since we're akimbo and we're hip firing every single kill we get i have the 1mw pistol laser giving you hip recoil control hip fire actually and sprint to fire speed and then of course something very self-explanatory for the pistols i have the akimbo p890s on taking it from one pistol turning it into two and then for the tuning all i did was i tuned the muzzle and i maxed out my bolt velocity but overall that is my full loadout number one in the current meta i'm telling you guys this combo is unreal and as we keep going through each class setup you could really mix any of the guns together i'm just kind of giving you guys my 10 favorite builds and loadouts in the entire game right now so after the do stop directly into loading number two loading number two we have the tac v battle rifle and we also have the finnick smg with the exact same lethals tacticals and perk system of course hopping directly into the tag v attachment number one just like the rpk is the zlr talon 5 muzzle again giving you everything you need with the exact same pros and cons and then you also toss on the 18 inch precision six barrel giving you damage range hip fire actually and bolt velocity of course the hip fire actually isn't too useful because you are rarely hip firing but that damage range and bolt velocity is mixing in perfectly with the muzzle and then again just like my other build i have the f tac ripper 56 for my underbarrel again giving you aiming idle stability recoil stabilization and hip fire 
accuracy, making it such a beam across any point of the map. And then for my attack V build, I just prefer to use the 50 round drum. I think it's super helpful. You can really beam like a full four stack, maybe even two full teams before you even have to reload because the attack V's time to kill is unbelievable. And then for the last attachment, we have the brute stock mixing in perfectly with the F-Tac River 56, giving you even more aiming stability and recoil control. Again, making the attack V incredibly controllable. And then hopping directly into the tuning for the muzzle, I went fully maxed out ADS speed and I also maxed out my bolt velocity. On my barrel, we went fully maxed out recoil steadiness and I also maxed out my damage range. On the F-Tac Ripper 56, we went fully maxed out recoil stabilization and I also maxed out my aiming auto stability. And then for the last attachment, we went fully maxed out ADS speed and I also maxed out my aiming auto stability again. But overall, this is my full build on the TAC V. I'm telling you guys, another super good primary that kills incredibly fast in this game. So if you guys haven't already used the TAC V, you guys need to go through, give this full build a try, some of the highest kill game you guys get with it. Without further ado, let's hop directly into the Finnick loadout. For the Finnick, the attachment number one is the FSS Shark Fin 90 for our underbarrel, giving you that aiming idle stability because of course the Finnick has such a crazy fire rate, it is bouncing insanely. So this is one of those attachments that just kind of helps you control it a little bit. And then again, with the crazy fire rate, you are also burning through your ammo. So I toss in the Finnick Mag 45, giving you that 45 mag capacity, which is more than helpful. And then of course, I have the Finnick Rubber Grip for our rear grip, giving you sprint fire speed and ADS speed. With it being an SMG, you want to be as fast as possible. And this is one of those attachments that really helps with that. And then for the stock, we have the F-Tac Loctite Stock, giving you crouch movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed. The same exact mindset that I have with the rear grip, mixing in perfectly with the rubber grip, speeding you up in every possible way. And then for the last attachment on the build, we have the VLK LZR 7MW Laser. Again, speeding you up in every possible way, giving you ADS speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. And then hopping directly into the tuning for the underbarrel, we went fully maxed out recoil stabilization, and we left the bottom bar completely even at zero. And then for the stocks tuning, I went fully maxed out ADS speed, and again, I left the bottom bar at zero, zero. And then of course, for the last attachment on the build, we went fully maxed out ADS speed for the third time in a row, and I also fully maxed out my sprint to fire speed. But overall, that's my full Finnick SMG build. I'm telling you guys, by far my favorite SMG in the game right now. It kills so fast, it's so easy to use, and it has great mobility. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full Finnick build a try. Tell me the highest kill game you guys get with this one. But that's my full loadout number two. So after the do, let's hop directly into loading number three. Loading number three is the TAC 56 mixed with the Vaznev 9K SMG. Like I said before, you could really take any SMG and mix it with any of the primaries I'm giving you and kind of mix match all the different loadouts together if you want to. I'm kind of just going through and giving you my top 10 weapons. So I'll put it directly into the TAC 56. We got the Harbinger D20 muzzle. Again, giving you the exact same pros and cons as the ZLR Talon 5, making the gun more useful in every possible way. And then you also mix in the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel. Again, the exact same pros and cons as most of the barrels in the game with the damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bolt velocity. And then you have the F-Tac River 56 for the third time in a row, giving you the exact same pros and cons again with the aiming auto stability, hit fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Just like always, one of the big reasons why this TAC 56 does not move at all. And then of course, this is all preference. You can run the 60 round mag or the 40 round mag. Of course, the 40 round mag gets slightly better mobility, but in my opinion, the 60 round mag is super helpful. And then for the last attachment on the build, my favorite scope in all of Warzone 2, we have the AMOP V4. Like I was saying before, this scope has by far the least visual recoil that I've used so far, and it is just super clean. And then for the tuning on the Harbinger D20, we got the recoil smoothness fully maxed out, and I also fully maxed out my bolt velocity. On the Tundra Pro Barrel, we went fully maxed out recoil steadiness, and then we also went fully maxed out damage range. For the F-Tac Ripper 56, we fully maxed out the recoil stabilization, and we left the bottom bar completely even at 0, zero. And then for the AMOP V4, again, just like always, the tuning is always the same. We fully zoomed it into close, and we fully maxed out the ADS speed as well. But overall, this is my full TAC 56 build in Warzone 2 Season 1 Reloaded. By far one of my favorite assault rifles in the entire game and one of the best in the current meta. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full build a try. Tell me the highest skill game you guys get with this one. Without further ado, stop directly into the Vaznev 9K. For the Vaznev 9K for the attachment number one, we have the X10 RR40 muzzle. Again, the same thing as most suppressors I run with the exact same pros and cons of the sound suppression, bolt velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. And then with it being an SMG, just like the Finnick, I want to be as fast as humanly possible. So I toss on the OLEV laser, giving you ADS speed, sprint fire speed and aiming stability making you so much faster in so many different ways but also making you more accurate and then you have the markiv r7 stock again mixing in perfectly with the laser with the crouch movement speed ads speed and sprint speed like i said speeding you up in every possible way and then you have the demo x2 rear grip giving you that recoil control kind of making it more controllable allowing you to beam people across the map if you want to and then for the last attachment on the build something very useful and essential to the build we have the 45 round mag kind of just increasing that mag capacity and then for the tuning on the muzzle we have fully maxed out recoil smoothness and we also went fully maxed out bolt velocity on the stock we went maxed out ads speed and i left the bottom bar at zero zero and then for the rear group we went fully maxed out sprint fire speed and i also maxed out my recoil steadiness but overall that is my full build on the vaznev 
MK, one of my favorite SMGs in the entire game, and it honestly does compete with the Finnick. If you guys haven't already used the Vaznev, you guys need to go through, give the full build a try. Some of the highest kill game you guys get with this one. I know I'm saying that with every single build, but I really want to know what bombs you guys drop with these builds because they are unbelievable. But like I said, that's my loadout number three, the TAC 56 and the Vaznev 9K. So after the do, stop directly into loadout number four. Loadout number four, we have the Castov 762 for our primary, and we have even more akimbo pistols with the X12s. I've been getting a lot of comments about those, and I think this loadout is disgusting. So I'll directly into the Castov 762. I'm not going to go attachment by attachment this time. We're going to go through the build. We have the ZLR Talon 5. We have the Kaz 10 584 barrel, the FTAC Ripper 56 for our underbarrel, the 40 round mag, and the AMOP V4. As you can tell, another very similar build as to our other primaries. That's why I didn't want to go attachment by attachment. All the attachments are relatively the same, but hopping directly into the tuning. For the muzzle, we went fully maxed out recoil smoothness, and I also maxed out my bolt velocity. On the barrel, we went fully maxed out recoil steadiness, and I maxed out my damage range. For the FTAC Ripper 56, we went fully maxed out recoil stabilization, and I left the bottom bar at 0, 0. And then for the AMOP V4, I left the tuning the exact same as the other times, with the zoomed in for the close and the ADS speed being maxed out. For the pistols, this build is very similar to the Akimbo P890s, pretty much identical. We have the FT Steel Fire for our muzzle, the XRK Lighting Fire Trigger Action, the 9mm Overpressured Ammo, 1MW Pistol Laser, and the Akimbo X12 Rear Grip Attachment. Hopping directly into the tuning. For the muzzle, all we did was we maxed out the bolt velocity, exactly like the P890s. And then for the ammunition, we went fully maxed out damage range, and we went fully maxed out bolt velocity. But overall, that's my full loadout number four. Another very good combination. Like I keep saying over and over, though, all these loadouts are very good individually, and you can kind of mix match the primaries with the secondaries across all five loadouts. If you want to, you can run the cast off 7.62 with the Finnick and all that stuff. You can really put them all together how you want, but all these loadouts are very, very, very good, and that's why you guys need to go through and try every single one. But of course, that's my loadout number four. So after the duel, let's hop directly into the last loadie, loadout number five. Loadout number five, we have another very OG class setup. We have the M4 and the Castoff 74U. A very good combination again, but hopping directly into the M4. Again, another very similar build to the other primaries. We have the Harbinger D20 muzzle, FTAC Ripper 56 for our underbarrel, high tower 20 inch barrel, AMOP B4 for our optic, and the 60 round mag. Of course, like I said, some very similar attachments to the other builds. Without further ado, let's hop directly into the tuning. For the muzzle, we went fully maxed out ADS speed, something a little bit different this time, and we went fully maxed out bolt velocity. For the underbarrel, we went fully maxed out recoil stabilization, and I left the bottom bar at 0, 0. On the barrel, we went fully maxed out recoil steadiness, and I also maxed out my damage range. And then, of course, as you guys probably already know, for the AMOP V4, we went fully zoomed into close, and I also maxed out my ADS speed. And then hopping directly into the 74U, we have the FSS Shark Fin 90 for our underbarrel, the OLEV Laser for our laser, the Markeev R7 stock, True Tack Grip for our rear grip, and the 45 round mag. Of course, another very good build. And it is a assault rifle that I have at the secondary spot, but I feel like this gun is more built as an SMG, and it kills incredibly fast. So I'm directly into the tuning. For the Shark Fin 90, I maxed out my recoil stabilization and my aiming out of stability. On the Markeev R7 stock, I maxed out my ADS speed, and I left the bottom bar at 0, 0. And then for my True Tack rear grip, I went fully maxed out ADS speed, and I also maxed out my sprint to fire speed. But overall, those are all five of my loadouts. Like I keep saying over and over, you guys can go through and mix match them any way you want with any primary, with any secondary. So of course, go through, give every single weapon a try, then go down in the comments below and tell me if they help you guys out at all. And if they do, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. But of course, that's all five of my loadouts. So that's it for the video.